All right, we're about to get going. It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, and we help you make more sales with less effort. And our company is Peak Performers Institute. And I'm so excited today because we're going to be talking about one of the ideas, one of the challenges, um, one of the areas of struggle, if you will, for a number of entrepreneurs or business owners. And what is that? We're going to answer the question today, how to recruit sales superstars. I want you to imagine for a moment as you're sitting there, as you're listening, as you're watching, the question is asked, how do you recruit sales superstars? And if that question was answered, let me just make sure we're live here. Let me make sure that you can see me. Let me just make sure that you can hear me. Let me just double check something real quick. Make sure that I am there, that you can hear me. And I think the answer I'm hearing is yes, we can hear you, Shay. That's even good. Fantastic. So if the question is asked to you, how do you recruit sales superstars? Then that begs a second question. Okay, Shay, how do I recruit sales superstars? Where do I find superstars? Um, how do I bring them onto my team, Shay? How do I recruit superstars that perhaps are, are working at another organization or for another company? And I think that's a very reasonable question. And this morning, this evening, this afternoon, tonight, whatever time it is for you, we're going to answer it because I'm going to teach you um, through this series, if you will, how to recruit sales superstars. Now, I, I put something up here because as, as I go through this, there's something that's top of mind to me. And, and I want you to jot this down in your notes. Now, if you're joining and you're an entrepreneur, if you're watching right now and you're a business owner, just look below, just look below, hit the share button, hit the share button below and put it's my time. Hashtag sales courage. That's right. If you're joining right now and you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, you're a speaker, you're an author, you're a coach. Look, I want to promote you. I want to celebrate you. So look below. Um, put your name. Put the name of your company. Um, perhaps put what you do. And at the end, so I can follow it. At the end, so I can follow it. Put it's my time. Hashtag sales courage. Let's recognize you for, for the champion that you are, for the winner that you are. But Right now, I've got to answer the question, how to recruit sales superstars. First, I want you to put this in your notes. Anyone can become a sales millionaire and make as much money as you want. That's a, a shayism. You're welcome to use that, by the way. But anyone can become a sales millionaire. And what is a sales millionaire before you go recruit them? A sales millionaire, by the way, is someone that earns over $500,000 a year. They're in the top one half a percent of income earners through commission sales. So, Shay, how do I recruit them to my team? Um, Shay, is that possible? Walk me through. Well, first, I need to learn something about your team because hiring sales superstars is the most important driver of building a seven figure sales team. And your person's right here waiting. Uh, Shay Brown, sales cardiologist. They're, they're sitting here right here waiting for you right now. And so I want to walk you through first the components of a seven figure sales team. Because if you've got to recruit, you've got to know who you're recruiting. You have to know what you're looking for. You have to decide what's most important to you. And at the end of the day, I know what, at least in the conversations I've had, haven't done this for 12 years, all the time, full time. I know what it is you're looking for. You want no labor. You want to generate income with no labor. And sometimes folks tell me, they, believe it or not, they say, Shay, I don't have time and I don't have the income. I don't have the revenue to bring someone else aboard. And when they do that, one of the challenges of doing that, one of the, the huge challenges of doing that is they don't understand that, you know what? Uh, it does not include any of their labor. So imagine for a moment, if you're earning, let's say $10,000 a month. So let's just say, you, by yourself, you're bringing in $10,000 per month. And you bring on a sales superstar. You bring on a champion because you have a challenge. You want to do things that does not include your labor. And you're telling me, I can't afford it. Let's just say that the salesperson works on 100% commission. 100% commission. Okay, 100% commission. So let's say they bring in $10,000. So together, your company now has brought in $20,000. Now, this is the person that tells me they cannot afford a salesperson. You bring in 10,000, 
Your salesperson brings in ten thousand. Your company's brought in twenty thousand dollars. You pay your salesperson a commission, and let's just say it's twenty percent for purposes of this exercise. Twenty percent. You pay them two thousand. Your company has net income still to the bottom line of eighteen thousand dollars. So. It makes sense, it certainly makes sense to me that you would want to hire a sales superstar. It makes sense that you want, to, you want to bring in someone that you can work with that's a good fit for where you are right now. So let's talk about what are the components of a seven-figure sales team, but let me answer this question if I can. Look over here, just, just follow me right here, follow me right here if you can, is why is hiring so difficult? Why is hiring a sales superstar so difficult? Let me answer that question for you because I want to make sure you get that. I, I, I want to make sure that you can, you can hear me. I want to make sure. Now, look below. Look below. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. Tell me your name. Tell me the company you're with and put it's my time. Hashtag sales courage. Now, I've got a gift for you. You can look, look below. I've got a gift for you. And here it is. The reason it's so hard to hire these folks is that sales superstars, they're in great demand. No matter where you go, they're, they're sought after, they're recruited. Folks want them on your team, and that makes a lot of sense. So let's step back if we can, and let's walk through the components of a sales team, not just a sales team, a seven-figure sales team. And you know, one of the reasons I, I, I wanna mention is that I, I think that it's, it's so important is that when you are doing that, we have to keep in mind something that Steve Jobs used to say, and I, and I think it's so true. One of the things that, that Steve Jobs used to say over and over again is the secret of my success. Now, this is Apple. Um, arguably, at least at this point in time, one of, their stock is falling right now, by the way, but it's one of the most profitable companies that exist out there right now. And the secret of my success, they say over and over again, is that they've gone out and they've gone through exceptional lengths to hire some of the best and some of the brightest folks out there. So think about this, Steve Jobs done it. You have an interest in building your seven figure sales team. It, it certainly would seem to me that you would wanna go through great lifts, just like Steve Jobs, if you will, to hire the best and the brightest, understanding that it's so difficult to do that because they're in demand. So. What am I going to cover during, the, during this session? Uh, welcome to, to Revenue Talks. It's another super duper special. Um, if you're here right now, hit the, hit, hit the like button. If you're here right now, hit the share button like below. Share this out. Share this out with your network right now because I'm going to crack the code on how to recruit sales superstars. And during this segment, there's a couple of points that I'm going to make sure that, that we cover during the time that we have it. But there's three highlights that I want to cover because in knowing the components, you, you might want to jot this down. When it comes down to knowing the components, there's, there's a couple of things that you're, you're going to want to make sure that you have in your notes. And the first one is going to be of one of the components that you definitely want to work with that you're going to need right away. Go ahead and jot this down. Let me, I'm going to give you a moment just to jot this down. Let me just check right now. I just want to make sure you can hear me because if you can't hear me right now, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? But don't, don't follow me, by the way. Don't follow me. You jot down a salesperson. So one of the folks on your team that you're going to need right, right away is a salesperson. So let's, let's get this over here. Write down a salesperson. Now, what makes this unique and different for you? Because a, a salesperson, a salesperson, um, their role is to understand all of the products, so that's all of the products for your company. They also understand your clients, they understand your culture, they're on the team. Typically you hire them and they're there 100% of the time. And I always say there's two people to hire right away. First, a salesperson, da ra da ra. you expect that from me, Shay Brown, the sales cardiologist, right? So a salesperson, and then secondly, a rock star special assistant. You, you, need, you need both of those. You really do need both of those. And so a salesperson is a little different. They understand the product. Um, they understand the culture. Um, they're there with you full time. 
And most importantly, most importantly, they work on commission, typically 100% commission. Now, based on your industry, and I'm going to talk about that in another episode, how do you pay them? Shay, how do you pay them? Look, I can't answer that in this episode. This episode is all about why is hiring so difficult, how to hire and recruit sales superstars. This is brought to you by the Black CEO Network. Look, it's amazing. It's incredible. I'm so excited to be here because I know no labor generates more income, more profitability, more peace of mind, you reach more people, and you're able to walk in your purpose and your passion and really leave a legacy of wealth for your family. Maybe start some schools, it just does so much for you. Now, the the big challenge with any of these components, I'm gonna give you five, I'm gonna give you five, is Shay, sometimes the question comes up, okay, I, I know there's components and there's definitely people I'm looking for, but can you give me the secret sauce? Can you give me the five characteristics that, that you look for, that some of your top clients look for in a sales superstar? I'm, I'm, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Go ahead, write down in your notes. Just jot down first. I'm going to come back to that. Don't worry. You're in a good place. You're in a good space. I'm going to talk about the five traits that great salespeople have and why it's so important. Don't worry about that. Okay, number one. Let's just go through this if we can. Number one, and it's not so much that it's number one. I think it's just important. I think it's important for you. I think it's important for the person. It's coachability. Jot that down in your notes. Coachability has to be the number one, the most important, if there is out there, because they've got to be able to listen to what you're teaching them, and then go apply it. Let me say that again. They've got to listen to what you're teaching them because you've got to teach them, you've got to share with them, you've got to bring an experience, but then they have to go apply it. See, it's one thing to intellectually know to do something. So even while you're watching right now, or if you're listening, hey, welcome aboard, you might be saying, Shay, you're teaching how to recruit sales superstars? What are the secret components of a seven-figure sales team? I get it, Shay. You're telling me that it's hard, difficult, to find great people because there's a demand? You're sharing with me today that hiring sales superstars is the most important driver of a seven-figure team. You're starting there intellectually, Shay, I get it. But there's a challenge. And maybe the challenge is you haven't been able to execute. And so I'm gonna ask right now on this episode that you be a little coachable, that you, you step back and you at least kind of understand the components. You understand that there is a salesperson. You understand they've got to be coachable. You understand they've got to absorb and apply because sometimes they are coachable, but you know what I found out sometimes? Is that they don't quite apply it. And when they don't apply it, that becomes a problem. Curiosity, number two trait. Number two is curiosity. Now. This is just a salesperson. I've got four more to get to, and I'm going to get to them, I promise you, but I don't want you to miss this because it's possible you may not have been in this conversation. It's, it's possible it's the first time that someone's pulled back the big black curtain. That's what I'm doing right now, and I'm revealing the secret components of a seven-figure sales team. And I'm so excited because you're here, you're watching. Look, hit the share button right now. If you're out there and you think, you know what, Shay, it takes sales courage to do this. Shay, it takes expanding your comfort zone. Shay, although this may be a, a new month, a new day, a new opportunity, you've got some new ideas, you're looking for new results, just hit the share button. Hit the share button, and here's what I want you to do. When you hit the share button, just type these words. It's possible. Hashtag sales curse. I don't know who you're going to pay that for, but hit the the share button. Hit the share button. And just hit the share button right now and type these two words. It's possible because you can recruit your seven-figure sales team. It's possible you can generate revenue with no additional labor. It's possible. Hashtag sales courage. Now, curiosity is important. Um, Why is curiosity important, Shay? Talk to me about that. Because when they're working with your clients or even potential prospects, they've got to have the ability to listen effectively and then ask the right questions. Jot this down in your notes. Powerful people ask powerful questions. Put that in your notes. Powerful people, they ask powerful questions, but it's not so much about being powerful 
as it is being the right question. See, the right question is what makes it so powerful. So they know what to ask to make sure they understand the prospects or clients' buyer's fingerprint. Something I learned from Dr. Moyne, their buyer's fingerprint. I can't get into it in this episode because I've only got so much time and I've got to teach you how to recruit sales superstars. I've got to give you the components of a seven-figure sales team. Anyone can become a sales millionaire and make as much money as they want. That's a Shaism. And I believe that. I believe in this highest paid industry in the world. Um, I believe you go out there and you help solve problems. I believe you can be paid if you provide the service and you help others. And that's what being curious, curious is about. They're naturally curious. This is what they do. They're always asking questions. They're always looking for an answer. They always want to know. Give me another one, Shay. Now, I've, I've got five components I'm going to get to. I, I'm kind of, these are, these components are related to all of these over here. I'm starting with the salesperson um, because the salesperson is someone who's could be your right-hand person. Um, they, they could be your mentor. Um, they're the person that represents your company. They go to the events. They, they make the phone calls. They're doing the webinars. I mean, they're important, okay? Everyone's important, but they're really important. And so the next key ingredient you're looking for, now I haven't gotten to the five components yet, is prior success. Now, I do subscribe to the school of thought that someone's prior success does not guarantee future success. Makes sense. And sometimes some of the best salespeople you hire, they have no experience at all in sales. But they have experience in their consistency. They have experience with time management. They have experience with organization. They have experience asking questions. They have experience helping folks. They have experience. And that prior success Going through some challenges, having some knockdowns, um, having to be self-motivated, having to be able to self-manage themselves. That prior success, while it might not be directly related, directly related to sales, you can take that skill set and you can turn that person and help them generate the unlimited income they're really looking for. And just a quick story. Um, my son, who I'm, I'm very proud of, um, just took on a, a new position. And um, he's out of college, uh, 26 years old, out of school, three years, or maybe four years. can't remember now. Maybe it's three years. And he had an opportunity. And the position was put in front of him to go after a position that was much, much higher than what he would typically ever apply for. It's an internal position. And he didn't qualify. No prior success experience. They, they took the position and they, and they reworked it and they created one just for him. And although he didn't have the experience, the prior success in just that one particular skill set, what they found is there was prior success in other areas. They were coachable. They were curious. Now, now I never talked to his manager. He, he never told me this. But I like to believe sitting in on dozens, if not hundreds and hundreds of different type of interviews, studying this and studying sales maintenance for 12 years, the one of the reasons he received that position at a much lower pay grade, by the way, um, and this isn't, I mean, this is a, a six-figure plus opportunity. I mean, this is not just a commission. This is very serious, and I'm very proud of him. The point I make is not about my son. The point I want you to walk away with is prior success is important, but don't just tie it directly to sales. Be open that they've had achievement in other areas and how that skill set works best for you and for your clients. Okay, so I'm really excited. The next one I want to share with you is intelligence. Now, you might be throwing, Shay, what is, what is intelligence? Of course, I, I wouldn't hire anyone for any of these five components if they weren't intelligent, duh. But that's not where I'm going with this lesson. No, 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 we're talking about how to recruit, how to bring in sales superstars. Today, we're talking on this very special episode of Revenue Talks. We're really sharing with you, step by step, what you can do to build your seven-figure sales team, understanding, and I'm gonna be driving this point home, I'm really gonna be driving this point, that hiring sales superstars is very important. Here's the point I wanna make. They have the ability to learn very complex concepts and then communicate that to someone else so it's easy. So they take what you're doing and then they're able to internalize it but, and interpret it, but then when they share it with someone else, they make it as easy as one, two, three, 
Maybe I said one, two, three, next time A, B, C. <laughs> but make it easy, it's one, two, three. And, you know, that's just one of the characteristics of, of a sales superstar. The fifth one that I want to share in the time we have is their work ethic. And they're always looking, they come to the company with a high degree of energy, of expertise, but here's what I want you to know, it's on a daily basis. It's on a daily basis. So these are just the five characteristics. Now, some of you are just joining. If you're just joining right now and you're one and Shay, what are you just going over? I'm going over the five characteristics of sales millionaires. And you have to hire, so you're wondering, what should I look for, Shay? Break it down, break it down, make it really easy for me. And I've done that, but now I've got to give you the components because you're here, you showed up, and part of life is just showing up. So let me, if I can, let me share with you component number two. Component number one was a salesperson. Whoopsie! Oh, I wonder if I broke that. I hope I didn't break it. Let me reach down there. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, no, good, didn't break. The next one is a sales... Affiliate. Now you might be thinking, Shay, what's the difference between a sales affiliate, which you're looking at, and a salesperson? I'm glad you asked. A sales affiliate and a salesperson. The, the major difference here is that a sales affiliate, their whole role is they are commission based. They're there for the commission. They're there because they want to make the money. They're what we would call a mercenary by the way or maybe you would call it a hired gun <laughs> a mercenary hired gun so typically what makes them unique and different is that the salesperson understands all of your products and services the sales affiliate they understand maybe one or two of your products and those one or two products are important to them and their network you see the, the sales affiliate is going to bring traffic and that means leads or people directly to your website and you're not going to be there. Um, the, the sales affiliate is in networks or communities or organizations where you're not there. The, the, the sales affiliate is going to extend your footprint, if you will, into other key areas. Now, they do get paid a commission. Typically, it's 20%. It could be higher. Um, for some of you out there that, that are watching and listening and thinking, hey, Shay, I would love to to, to talk about this, um, just look below, if you will, just look below. Make sure you grab your gift. Make sure you grab your gift. Make sure you text in revenue to 240-428-6333. Make sure you do that, and we're going to sit down and have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation to see which one makes sense. Now, you need all five. You got the salesperson, 100% into your company. You got the sales affiliate. They're a mercenary. They're only in it for the money. They're only in it for the what? The money. They're only in it for the money. That, that's right, that's right. And, and you can still build a really good relationship with them. And the third one, component, make sure I show it to you, the third component that you need of a seven-figure sales team, that's what we're doing today. We're answering the question, how to recruit sales superstars? Is a sales ambassador. Now, Jay, can you take a moment and share the distinction between a sales person, a sales affiliate, a sales ambassador. I just got here. Thanks for answering this question. Why is hiring so difficult? I'm glad you understand. It's because the demand, because of the demand for sales superstars is so high. So it makes it a little difficult. But it's what? It's possible. Look, if you're here and you're an entrepreneur, I, I like to hear from you. I like to connect with you. Go, go and take a moment and spotlight yourself. Spotlight your company. Spotlight what you do. So right below, right below, hit the like button, hit the heart button, type in your first name, type in your last name. Um, share with us, if you will, what you do. And more importantly, hit that share button right now. Hit that share button. When you hit that share button, type these words. It's possible because you can build your seven-figure sales team. It's possible. Hashtag sales courage. We're going we're gonna to really, um, we're going we're to make a difference in the world. We're going to change lives. I believe just through the power of those fiber optic lines right now, as you're hearing the words I'm saying, you're listening to what I'm doing, you're watching, it's my belief that today could be your day. Today could be your day. You hire a salesperson. You hire a sales affiliate. You focus on your sales ambassador. Now, the sales ambassador is a little different. The sales ambassador, that's like your, um, those are folks who believe in you. They want to support you. 
they want to be right there with you in the trenches. Um, they're part of your community. Um, they're, they're your tribe. Um, they're your disciples. They're in your network. And they want to do something, but they don't do it for the money. See, that's the key. The salesperson, well, they got to they eat. Um, the sales affiliate, well, if what you do solves a problem for their network and there's compensation, they're all aboard. The sales ambassador, look, they're there with you anyway. They're right there with you. They're looking for recognition. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Recognition. Um, so if you're a speaker, if you're an author, if you're a coach, if you're a trainer, if you do events, they want a VIP seat, baby. Or maybe you give them tickets for those to help you. You give them tickets to see a show. I recall uh, once upon a time, Trevor and I were talking, and it was just one organization. And one of the things they were doing, this is really cool. This is really cool. It got us all juiced up. It's a gateway to Apple Watch. <laughs> I don't have an Apple Watch on right now, but I do have one. Um, but it was the Apple Watch. And you know what? They don't do it for the watch. The sales ambassador is not doing all this work for the watch or the iPad or the MacBook Pro Air. They're doing it because they believe in you. They believe in you. They believe in what you represent. And so as I ask these questions, I want you to think right now. I got two more components I'm going to get to real quickly. But I want you to think for a moment. The salesperson, when you think about your revenue just over the last six months, this is just a question. Let's say, when I ask this question in my events, I'm going to ask it now to you as well. How much revenue did you generate over the last six months just from a salesperson? And you know what some folks, do you know what the number is for some folks? I'll tell you what the number is. Zero. And that's okay. Because they didn't know what they didn't know. You now know what you didn't know. And then I'll ask the question, how, many, how much have income have you generated just from your sales affiliate team? You got a salesperson team, you got a sales affiliate team. For some folks that are my that are watching and my trainings and even my clients, this might be you. Don't worry. Go ahead and check down how much money you earn because you're going to earn more because you're going to recruit the right per folks. Yeah, it's zero. Yeah, it really is zero. And then we'll come and we'll say, look, the sales ambassadors, the folks who want to work with you, they're, they're calling you, they're in your Facebook group, um, they're part of your community, they're part of your tribe, they want to help. They're there to serve you. I'll ask the question, how much income have you generated for them? And you know what the answer often is? Zero. Yeah, zero, 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 okay. Shay, I need you to break it down for me, Shay. Um, let me find my marker. I need you to break it down. Okay, you got the salesperson. They're, they know all your products and services. You got the sales affiliate, they're with you. Um, but they get a 20% commission. Then you have another team that's your sales ambassador team. They're out there in the field. They support you, um, but they want recognition. They want a front row seat. They want to make sure they can get their friend in. Um, got it, Shay. Got it. Okay. Okay. Let me give you two bonuses if I can. I said I was going to give you three components, but I want to give you a bonus because for some of you, this might be all you need. Oh, you, you, can't, you can't see this? Okay, let me step over here. Number four is your digital sales solution. Your digital sales solution. Jot that down in your notes. You might even take a picture of this. Your digital sales solution. Your digital sales solution is the revenue you generate when you're not there. That's your online revenue. That's the revenue you generate from your, your automated, your webinars. So maybe you do a webinar. Uh, you record it, you put it up, you're never there. But the dollars, they're coming in, they're coming in, they're coming in. You only get a buzz, well, I don't have my phone on me, but you're only getting a buzz from your phone because you're not there. It's someone going to your web page or to your sales landing page, um, reading the problem that exists, understanding how you solve it and making a decision, you're not there. It's them participating in your digital academy. Understanding your content and curriculum. You're not there. See, anyone can become a sales millionaire and make as much money as they want, but it will take a seven-figure sales team for many to get there. I, I don't, this is not a beat me up session, but I, I want you to check in with yourself right now. Check in with yourself and ask yourself the question. Over the last six months, 
How much income have I generated just from my digital sales solutions where I'm never there? But it happens. Okay. For most of my folks at my seminars, it's zero. So they're now zero for four. That means in all four components, when they take a look at their business model in all seriousness, they're leaving money on the table day after day, week after week, month after month. And for some of my clients, it's been year after year after year. No longer would that be the case. I'm on a mission. I'm really on a mission. I'm going to teach 10,000 entrepreneurs how to build a seven-figure sales team. And I, I want you to be one of them. You're, you're someone that I definitely want to work with. You're definitely someone I want to bring in to do that as well as I try to see if I can do it. Let's see if that thing comes up. Oh, there it goes. If, if that's you right now and you want to stay in this conversation, um, just look below, look below, look, follow the structures. It's very private. You can head on over to the fastsalesnow.com. Again, fastsalesnow.com. Let's connect. Let's stay in that conversation. Okay, I've got five components. Now, I've got five characteristics I look for in every single one of these. But now I've got one more. Shay, what's that one more? What's that one more? I'm so glad that this question has been asked to me, how to build a seven-figure sales team. I'm getting it over and over and over again. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're paying attention. These are going to be some very special episodes that I'm going to do. I'm going to do some very special episodes. But here they are, revenuetalks.com. Plug for us. Okay. I'm getting some bonuses now. I love giving gifts, even when it's not Christmas time. Isn't it cool to get gifts, like before Christmas? And I'm giving them out today. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> but in all seriousness, number five is the sales cheerleader. Now, here's the question to ask yourself. Do you have a solution in place that allows you to go out there and collect raving fan stories, whether it's written stories, audio stories, video stories, testimonials, because the concept is nothing sells like success. We know for a fact that, well, facts tell, stories, they sell. And so we've got to have a solution in place. Now, I can't get into the software to use right now, not on this episode. If you want to get the episodes, I'm, I'm doing this six-part series. I mean, it's going to be incredible. Hit the subscribe button. Just hit the subscribe button right now. You'll get a copy of this particular note because maybe you just got here. You want this session like, Shay, what's going on? Shay, what's going on? I don't need to be a part of this. Look, go ahead right now. Go ahead right now and hit the subscribe button and you'll get this episode and the other five that I'll make sure that you get. And the other five are all around how to recruit, how to recruit sales superstars, the components of a seven figure sales team. It's incredible. So the sales cheerleader, we've got to have a system in place to go out so that we use what we've done because nothing sells like success. We need social proofing, someone other than us making a, a point or sharing their success, or third-party endorsements. If someone else has done it, so can you. We've got to collect that, and we have to make that its own team by itself. So we put these folks together. We organize. We teach them. And here's the question to ask yourself that I love to ask. Sales cheerleader, you look over the last six months, how much income have you generated from just this area? And maybe the answer is zero. Again, this is not a beat me up session. This is all about you stepping back and understanding that hiring sales superstars is the most important builder to putting together your seven figure sales team. You know, I want to just share a quick story because when I got started in 2004, no one had taught me this. I wasn't aware and I didn't know what I know now. And as I was building my team, I was really relying on some of my friends, some of my fraternity brothers. <laughs> Shout out to my fraternity, Kappa Alpha Psi, amazing fraternity. Um, and folks that I went to school with and that I'd grown up with. And I was dependent on them to do little side jobs, not so much to do all my company, because I know you can't build a company just on a network, but I thought if they would tell their friends and they would tell their friends and friends and I could work with my family, that I, I had a team that I start off well ahead of everyone else. I'm like, I'm so far ahead of everyone else. I'm so far up the curve. 
But what I found out was the friends and family are not always the best sales team. Yeah, they're, they're gonna come from the heart, they're gonna work hard, but, but really at the end of the day, I needed to have a salesperson, and a sales affiliate team, a sales ambassador team, I need digital sales solutions. I couldn't just rely on family alone as much as my family loves me and I love my family and I know they would do anything for me. We've got to make sure that as we step back that the lesson that we walk away with is everyone has a role and you've got to let folks do what they do best. And there's some folks out there, that's what they do. They love to sell. They love to go out there. They love to make a difference. So a couple of things I want you to do. Number one, when you're considering building your seven-figure sales team, I want you to co compare whether you need an outside salesperson versus an inside salesperson. I'm not going to get too much into that today, but do you need someone that's outside, that's meeting people, that's sitting down, that's having conversations, or do you need an inside person? And I want you to create a digital sales solution for your team. I was sharing just last night on one of our live broadcasts the importance of having a digital sales solution that 80% of sales millionaires, the sales superstars, the top 1% of performers, they rely on their mobile device and the app that they have to help guide their sales day in terms of whom they spoke to, the follow-ups, the contacts. They're no longer going back to a computer and, and sitting down and waiting to get back to the office. No, they need it real time, real time. They need to be sent them to real time websites, get them real time literature, do it online with appointments. And they need it all synced and hubbed in one place. And so you've got to create that, especially if you want to build a seven-figure sales team. Seven figures, that's one million dollars. Even if you're at the bottom of the bottom, that's still a million dollars. And so it makes sense to have a digital sales solution. If I can give you one takeaway during, during the time that we have, and I'm so glad that we had this time together. I mean, I really am. Look, hit the subscribe button if you're right below. Hit the subscribe button. Let's make sure that we stay in this conversation over and beyond today. I've got six other sessions that I'm going to be doing. And I want to make sure, I want to make sure that you're fully aware of it and that you receive it this way. The big takeaway I would have is this. Your sales team can generate millions of dollars in revenue without your labor. Jot that down in your notes. Your sales team can create millions of dollars in labor. I mean, millions of dollars of revenue without your labor. And isn't that what you really, 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 what you really, really want? Yeah, for most it is. So with that being said, I, I want to share a couple things with you. One is that anyone can become a sales millionaire and make as much money as you want. And number two, hiring a sales superstar is the most important driver of building a seven-figure sales team. Your person's waiting there for them. That's their seat right there. That's their seat right there waiting for them. I want you to know that you're a winner. Um, the fact that you showed up and you became an entrepreneur or a speaker, an author or a coach or a trainer or maybe a thought leader, the fact you got started says so much about you. It says that you're a winner. It, it says that you're a champion. It says that you have greatness inside you. And it says that the best is yet to come. And I want you to know you will build your seven-figure sales team. I want you to know that I, Shay Brown, I believe in you. And even if you don't believe right now, even if you, you hit the share button, you put it's possible, even if you don't believe, I want you to know that this Shea Brown, I'm going to hold the belief for you. Because sometimes you need someone to hold the belief for you until you get there. And you can get there. This is indeed your moment. This is your time. This is your year. Tomorrow will be your day. You will build your seven-figure sales team. With that being said, I'm going to encourage you to do three things as we close up. Number one is be humble. Always be willing to serve. Number two, stay hungry. Always learn. When do you stop learning? You never stop learning because once you learn something, you never unlearn it. And number three, you got to always hustle. Today has to be better than yesterday because the best is yet to come and the best comes from you on the inside. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown, the sales cardiologist. Make it a great day, everyone. And we'll make some good things happen. We connect Again next time, I'll see you on the next episode. Hit the, hit the live button. I'm going to come back. I'm going to share some more episodes. This is part one of six. Look forward to connecting with you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.